Feet Gas. Peter Gasparino, born May 29, 1970, is an American retired professional wrestler, better known by his ring name, Pete Gas. He is best known for his appearances with the World Wrestling Federation between 1999 and 2001 as a member of the Mean Street Posse. Early Life Gasparino grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. He attended Greenwich High School, where he was a friend of Shane McMahon, the son of the chairman of the World Wrestling Federation. He went on to attend the University of Connecticut on an athletic scholarship, playing football for the Connecticut Huskies. After graduating, Gasparino spoke to McMahon in 1992 about becoming a professional wrestler, but McMahon discouraged him. Gasparino instead went into business, eventually joining Lightning Rentals, a film production equipment hire company in New York City. Professional Wrestling Career World Wrestling Federation 1999-2001 The Mean Street Posse 1999-2000 In Earl of Innes 1999, Shane McMahon asked Gasparino and their mutual friend Rodney Lanehart to film a series of vignettes about their upbringing in Greenwich to promote his match with X-Pac at WrestleMania Roman 15. The tongue-in-cheek vignettes bragged about the toughness of McMahon and his friends from the mean streets of Greenwich. Renamed Pete Gas, Gasparino along with Rodney and two other childhood friends of Shane, Billy P. and Willie Green made his live debut in the WWF on the March 22, 1999 episode of Raw interfering in a street fight between McMahon and X-Pac. Dubbed the Mean Street Posse, Gas and the others went on to appear in McMahon's corner at WrestleMania Roman 15 on March 28, 1999, helping him defeat X-Pac. After Gas and Rodney had made several appearances with the WWF, they were offered one-year contracts. Gas left his job, becoming a full-time performer with the WWF. He was trained as a wrestler by Tom Pritchard. Playing on their preppy image, the posse members wrestled in argyle sweater vests and cockies. Inspired by the socks, a gang of wealthy teenagers from the 1983 film The Outsiders, the Mean Street Posse, were comedic villains, the rich kids that everyone hated. Following WrestleMania Roman 15, the Mean Street Posse were drawn into the feud between Shane McMahon and his father Vince, resulting in them facing Vince McMahon's stooges, Gerald Briscoe, and Pat Patterson in a series of matches. On the April 29, 1999 episode of SmackDown, the Mean Street Posse became members of the corporate ministry. On the May 10, 1999 episode of Raw, Gas and Rodney lost to Briscoe and Patterson in a Loser Leaves Town match. The television ratings for the segment the match appeared in were at that time the highest ever recorded for a WWF television program. They returned on the June 7, 1999 episode of Raw. On June 21, 1999, Gas and Rodney were joined by Joey Abs, turning the Mean Street Posse from a tag team into a stable. Unlike Gas and Rodney, Abs was not a childhood friend of Shane McMahon. Instead, he was an experienced wrestler added to the group as a ringer. In July 1999, Shane McMahon and the Mean Street Posse began feuding with Test after he began dating McMahon's sister Stephanie. This culminated in a Love Her or Leave Her match between McMahon and Test at SummerSlam on August 22, 1999 with Test to end his relationship with Stephanie if he lost and McMahon to drop his opposition to the relationship if he lost. Test defeated McMahon despite the efforts of the posse, who were seated at ringside. McMahon reconciled with Test on the September 9 episode of SmackDown, but the posse refused to do likewise, resulting in them ending their alliance with McMahon after he rescued Test from an attack at their hands on the September 13, 1999 episode of Raw. After parting ways with Mick Mahan, the posse were briefly managed by Terry Runnels before allying with the British Bulldog. On November 14, 1999, at Survivor Series, the British Bulldog 
and the Mean Street Posse lost to Gangrel, Mark Henry, Steve Blackman, and Val Venis in the titular match. On December 12, 1999, at Armageddon, the Mean Street Posse took part in a tag team battle royal to become number one contenders to the WWF Tag Team Championship. They gained an advantage by switching places with the third wrestler behind the referee's backs, thus enabling them to outnumber the other teams 3-2, to two, but nonetheless failed to win. In early 2000, the posse repeatedly tried to defeat Crash Holly for the Hardcore Championship, attacking the champion in unlikely venues such as an airport, a circus, and his hotel room. At WrestleMania 2000 on April 2, the trio took part in a hardcore battle royal for the title. During the match, each member would briefly hold the title, although Hardcore Holly ultimately won the match and left as the official champion. On an episode of Sunday Night Heat later that year, Edge and Christian briefly became the managers of the Mean Street Posse. They accompanied them to ringside for the duration of their WWF World Tag Team Championship title match with the Hardy Boys, assisting the posse with the proviso that they would receive a title shot if the posse was to win. The Hardy Boys thwarted the interference of Edge and Christian, however, and retained their titles. Developmental Territories 2000-2001 In mid 2000, Gas and the other posse members were sent to Memphis Championship Wrestling, the WWF Developmental Territory in Memphis. The trio trained in Memphis from Wednesday to Sunday then joined the rest of the roster for Raw and SmackDown tapings on Monday and Tuesday. Gas and Rodney won the MCW Southern Tag Team Championship in May 2000, defeating Bull Payne and Todd Morton. They lost the championship to the Kingpins in July 2000, but regained them the following month. Their second reign ended in October 2000 when they lost to the Dukes. During his time in Memphis, Gas also wrestled for Power Pro Wrestling, another Memphis-based independent promotion affiliated with the WWF. In March 2001, he won the PPP Heavyweight Championship. The championship was abandoned later the same month when Power Pro Wrestling closed. After several months in Memphis, Gas was sent to Puerto Rico. He and the other posse members were released by the WWF in 2001. Gas went on to briefly wrestle on the independent circuit before retiring later that year. Retirement After retiring from professional wrestling, Gasparino worked as a bond broker. He currently works for office supply company WB Mason as a sales representative and has since 2000. In his book, he mentions that it is a very long commute. Gasparino broke his retirement for a single night in 2003 facing Prince Nana in a bout for the East Coast Wrestling Association in Wilmington, Delaware. In 2007, he appeared on the 15th anniversary episode of Raw competing in a battle royal where he was eliminated by Bart Gunn. In 2016, Gasparino made several appearances on the Edge and Christian show a sketch comedy show on the WWE Network hosted by retired wrestlers Christian and Edge. In 2017, he published his autobiography, Looking at the Lights, My Path from Fan to a Wrestling Heel. Championships and Accomplishments Memphis Championship Wrestling MCW Southern Tag Team Championship two times with Rodney Power Pro Wrestling PPP Heavyweight Championship one time, one time, one time, World Wrestling Federation, WWF Hardcore Championship two times.